And welcome to another video. This time we're looking at the new beta of this program, which is called Adobe Express. Um, can access it from within uh, Adobe Acrobat, actually. Um, I don't know if you can access this version, but I would imagine you will be able to in the future. Uh, I did do a video on that. Uh, this is the version which has got all the new um, generative AI stuff. So you can see, and the good thing about this is that unlike I think in Photoshop, it's done on your own computer. This is not done on your own computer. This is done on, this is, a, I'm in a web browser now. So um, that's pretty cool. Style, techniques, and let's change it into a watercolor. See what we get here. That's pretty good. So you can actually generate the stuff pretty well there. Uh, um, yeah, I think it's always good to have like a subject and a background, right? And then you can generate the things. I think once you start to do... Let's see some of this uh, chaotic. Let's see what happens there. Yeah, that is pretty more complex. I think though the problem is if you do something which doesn't make sense. Um, let's try this. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense this, but you never know. It might they might be able to figure it out. What was that? Either? Okay. Actually, it's better. It's not bad. That is not bad. It is a little bit, it always goes a little bit wrong. Um, let's uh, remove those two. Let's just see what it comes up with just without anything. Yeah, I think it's generally like, I don't think you can do like, you, you can't do like um, multiple things though. Birds flying above. Will that work? Maybe. Yeah, not bad. So it does actually let you do multiple things. So that isn't terrible. But yeah, it's definitely. Let's see what else we got there. All right. Let's try wood carving of that, for instance. But yeah, what I was, anyway, the point is, right, that you can do like a bunch of stuff with this. What I'd like to do, though, is try the other thing as well, which is to try to do a thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail is more interesting to me. This actually looks quite good. Um, when do you do photo on it? Probably worse results, I would guess. Do you have uh, options there? Oh, that is above it. That one looks good. I guess you, you yeah. Mm, it's kind of handy. Can I put text on top of it? Add your text. Uh, So add my text. And that is going to be where does it go? Okay, what was that? Mm. This is weird. There's two bars like this. I think you just yeah okay. So say we do. Uh, 
express beta, which is what this video is, right? Um, so you get the options here. Let me see what the effects are. These are look quite new, right? Uh, let's try um, right. Yeah, that isn't that isn't great. That needs to be more. Uh, do we have here a few options like that? That's fine. Let's make it a. Uh, Can I do a um just trying to remember where my font options are. It takes a while to do this bit for some reason. Um Can we do a, uh, what can you, oh, we can do a bunch of stuff there. Okay, interesting. Stick with white there, right? Yeah, the font itself is not, uh, it's not the bell that I want there, is it? Anything a bit more? Will it then put it in through? Oh, yeah, it will. This needs to be brighter though. I'm not sure how to make it bright. Because that doesn't do much, right? Yeah, there's no way to actually change the font color, is there? Let's do something like that. <laughs> oh, interesting. Guess you could just do a background on it. What I mean is, how do you do this? How do you, I'm trying to work out how to do a stroke. Um, around the text. What do we have here? Alignment, bullets. Oh, this is the color of the text. No, wait, wait, wait. Where is the color of the text? Text color. I guess you can't do the color of the text. You have to somehow find a way to. Uh, I want it to contrast, right? Let me try it, change it to orange. Yeah, so basically you could just put the name of the effect with a color in front of it is probably the way to look at it. 